All right, let's take a look at a question that they've titled uh, the cash budget, and then we're going to mix in some short-term uh, financing, uh, which adds a, a bit of a wrinkle, but not that big a deal. So looks like what we've got is notice it says partial cash budget. So this is this is not something that you would actually have in real life. This is um, this is just something for, for school. Okay, so uh, you notice that they've given us some information and then we're going to use the limited information that they've provided us along with some information up here uh, to fill this out. So our company is Holiday Events and it says uh, loans are obtained in increments of $1,000 at the start of each month to maintain a, a minimum end of month balance of $12,000. So what we're saying there is if we if we get down here to our cash balance, uh, ending cash balance for the month, and we do not have $12,000, well, then we're going to borrow uh, some uh, additional funds. Okay, uh, that's what we're saying there. Okay, so um, interest is 1% simple interest uh, per month. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. Payable when the loan is repaid. Uh, so we don't have any interest payments uh, along the way. Thank goodness. Uh, repayments are made as soon as possible, subject to the minimum end of month balance. So in other words, if we've borrowed money and then we have anything in excess of the minimum balance at the end of a prior month, we're going to use that uh, to pay back that short-term debt. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here uh, with uh, the month of October. And they, they don't give us a lot, but they give us everything we need. The first thing we have to solve for is uh, cash from operations. Let me make this calculator a little bit smaller and move it around. All we have to do is add these two figures up here, 21 and 33,000. And so we had a beginning cash balance of $21,000 and then we collected cash totaling $33,000 uh, for the month. And so total cash, what we started with and then what we got in total is 54,000. Cash disbursements from operation were 48,000. So I'm going to subtract that 48,000 and I'm going to come up with $6,000. Okay. And so this would be kind of naturally our uh, end of month balance, but notice up here they want us to have at least 12,000. So we're going to have to borrow money to get us from 6,000 to 12,000. And so that would incidentally be $6,000. Okay. So if we borrow, if we have 6,000 and we borrow 6,000, now we have 12,000. We didn't have any uh, repayments, so I'm just going to plug in a zero here. And we haven't paid any interest yet because we don't pay it until we pay the note back. So we can just put a zero in, under interest as well. And then our cash balance ending is going to be $12,000. Okay. So we're going to take this $12,000 and we're just going to move it right up here. Because one month's ending balance is the next month's beginning balance. And so we've got our beginning balance of $12,000. We've collected $38,000 in sales. So again, we're just going to add these two figures together. 12 beginning plus 38 uh, collected receipts gives us $50,000. Okay. But notice that we have disbursements of $58,000. So I'm going to subtract out that $58,000. And I'm going to end up with negative 8,000. And so this negative 8,000 here, this is how much money I would have if I don't borrow anything. 
Now, I have to borrow uh, in full $1,000 increments, and I don't think that's going to end up mattering for this question. So if I'm uh, at negative 8, and I have to be at, at a, at a uh, positive 12, well, then I'm going to have to borrow $20,000 to make that happen. I still don't have any repayments and I don't have any interest and my ending cash balance is going to be 12,000 which I'm then going to bring right up here to December I'm going to plug that in um, and notice that I have a lot of collections in December so my cash available let me show you how I got this uh, 12 plus 78 is 90 90,000 Oops, get back over here in the right spot. Okay, and then we have disbursements of 40,000. If I subtract 40 from 90, I end up with 50,000. Okay, so under new loans here, I clearly have, I clearly have more than twelve thousand dollars here okay and a lot more so i'm not going to take out any loans but i am going to repay and if we take the if we take the twelve thousand dollar balance that's required and add to it the twenty six thousand in total that i've borrowed we come up with thirty eight thousand i have fifty thousand so I'm going to repay uh, all of this. Let's see here. It says use a negative sign with answers to indicate a cash disbursement or a negative ending balance. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use a negative sign here. And now this is the this is the box right here where students might get tripped up. So what we have to understand is we're going to take this in two parts. One part is simply $20,000 that I borrowed last month times 1%, and that's $200, okay? So file that $200 away in your mind. I've also got 6000 but I'm not going to multiply it by 1%. I'm going to multiply it by 2% because I had that for November and for December. So that's uh, 6,000 times 2% is 120 and then plus the 200. So I'm going to enter a negative sign. Did I do it? I guess I did. Okay. And hopefully that'll be right. So I had available, uh, I'm sorry, ending cash of 50,000 minus the 26,000 in repayments. Uh, let's see here, minus the $320 in interest. And so my ending balance is 23,680, uh, okay? And then if we look here at the cash balance, uh, we have to total these, but um, it, my total of beginning cash was 21000 so I would just plot that in there. Um, collections on sales, a little bit different. I'm going to actually add these figures up. And then I'm going to add some zeros to it after I do that. Okay. So cash available from operations is just the 149 I collected plus my initial cash balance. So 170,000. Okay. And then if I um, want to come up with, uh, uh, my, I'm going to need to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take 48,000 plus 58,000 plus 40,000 and of course I'm going to add I'm going to first I'm going to make that negative 
Okay. And I'm going to come up with uh, 146,000. Uh, um, my ending cash before borrowings or replacements. This is another uh, spot that occasionally will cause students some uh, difficulty. But all we're doing here is we're taking this 50,000 here and we are going to subtract out um, this uh, 26,000 here. And so we're going to come up with 24,000. Okay, you can take a calculator and take uh, 26,000 from 50,000. All right, so uh, all we now, all we have to do now is just add up our two loan amounts, which was six and 20, so that's 26,000. And our repayments are 26,000. Uh, as well. Our interest is just the, um, let me see here, I may, almost made a mistake here. I need to put a negative there. And then uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing for interest. And then our total for cash balance ending, we're just going to plot this 23680 here. We wouldn't add those across, that wouldn't be appropriate. Okay. And so now we have uh, everything in here. Uh, so there's um, just sitting here thinking about this. Uh, there are about four places where students get tripped up. This is one of those boxes here because you're multiplying this one by 2% and this figure by 1%. Um, uh, let's see, what would be the second one? Uh, some students mistakenly try to add these across, but this is the total for the beginning balance, so it was 21000 And then down here, the uh, total for the ending balance, we would just move this number over, right? So we're going from here to here and here to here. And then the other box, a uh, little bit less troublesome, is this ending cash before borrowings or replacements. I think that's the wording more than anything. It's just these, uh, this figure from uh, this figure here uh, to get the uh, 24,000. All right, so that's it for this uh, video and the partial cash budget uh, exercise.